This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV 24-7. and welcome to Left, Right and Centre in our brand new season. I'm Nidhi Razdan and it's great to be back after more than a month and what a month it's been while I was away. Tonight, as one controversy after another dogs the newly formed Lokpal panel, we debate whether the anti-corruption fight has already been derailed and what could the way forward possibly be. Joining me on the show tonight from the Congress, Lok Sabha MP and spokesperson Manish Tiwari, Congress, uh, BJP's uh, spokesperson and Rajya Sabha MP, uh, Ravi Shankar Prasad, social activist Swami Agnivesh, who's been very, very vocal on this issue, the editor of the Business Standard, Dr. Sanjay Baru, is with us tonight. And joining us from Bangalore is Justice Santosh Hegde, the Loka Yukt, and of course, a member of the Lokpal Committee. Now, the events of the last few days almost seem like a thriller if they weren't so unfortunate. From the controversial CD that allegedly features Shanti Bhushan talking about fixing a judge to shady deals and much public sniping. Civil society clearly believes that the political class, read the Congress, has hit back with a dirty smear campaign. But many have also raised serious questions about the Bhushans, saying they should step aside until their name is cleared. The panel itself is grappling with the very real possibility that one of its most prominent members, Justice Hegde, the Lok Ayukta of Karnataka, may quit after Digvijay Singh commented about his effectiveness. That brings us to our first question tonight. Has the anti-corruption campaign already been derailed? As part of that question, we're asking first, has the empire actually struck back? Let me go to Justice Hegde first. Sir, today we had Digvijay Singh clarifying and saying that he didn't really mean to attack you personally. He wasn't questioning your effectiveness. Are you satisfied with his clarification or are you still thinking about quitting? Well, so long as if he meant it, it's okay with me. Uh, but if it is only an explanation for the purpose of getting away from what has been said earlier, then I have my reservations. Are you still seriously considering leaving this panel? Or are you going to make up your mind only tomorrow when you come to Delhi? I'll make up my mind only tomorrow. We have had some discussions. Anna Hazare ji telephoned to me this afternoon. And uh, he said, uh, uh, it's only after the discussion uh, where I should take a decision. I will do that. And what, what is it about what he said that has uh, upset you the most? Why, why are you so upset by what he said? Well, I thought uh, that I was uh, asked to be in the team because I have some experience of uh, functioning in the Lokpal, um, Lokayukta institution, which is similar to Lokpal. Uh, and uh, if I am not an effective uh, Lokayukta, then I don't think I should be there at all. If that is the perception of the gentleman who made this comment, along with it, of course, I was also told that I was uh, uh, trying to protect uh, the uh, local chief minister. Uh, that's a very serious allegation. Uh, I don't think uh, uh, I can accept that uh, uh, comment. But do you believe that there is a larger smear campaign that's going on here in order to derail this entire process? Yes, I sincerely believe it, you know, because of the uh, events that have occurred after the team was announced. As soon as the team, till, till the team was announced, there was no competitors to be in the committee and uh, nobody raised anything. Then soon, soon after the team was announced, the first question arose whether father and son could be in the team. Then uh, thereafter, the, uh, somebody said there is no lady in the team. And uh, when uh, all that didn't work, uh, the next was they made an allegation against uh, Anna Hazareji himself and all. That also didn't work and all. Then a CD came to be released the day before the meeting was to take place. And uh, uh, correctness of which was challenged by uh, the Bushans. Uh, then, uh, according to Arvind Kejival, they, was, they were going to release a letter of his purportedly written by him to a minister seeking some favor, but that didn't, uh, the sir, singer, I think he preempted it, see, you know. You clearly see a pattern in this. Sir, do stay with us. I'd like to get Manish to respond to that, because they see an obvious pattern here that the, that the government and the political class is striking back in its own quiet, ugly way. Well, uh, I think, uh, if at all, Justice Hegre uh, does have that impression. I must say that that impression is completely erroneous 
and it is misplaced. Uh, let's uh, see things in a perspective, and I'll try and run, uh, run down as quickly as I can uh, through the various points that he had raised. Mr. Digvijay Singh yesterday uh, was holding a press conference in Lucknow, where essentially he was targeting the corruption or the alleged corruption of the Uttar Pradesh government. In the course of that press conference, there was a reference which was made to Karnataka. And in the course of that reference, I think there was something which was said about Justice Santosh Hegde in the context of the larger corruption in Karnataka. But I don't think that uh, Mr. Digvijay Singh either uh, questioned or lampooned the credentials of, uh, Mr. of Justice Santosh Hegde, whom everybody knows is a very eminent former well, judge of the Supreme Court. Well, he did say how effective, how so, so, effective so, has he been? So, so, he so did there, say that. So therefore, I don't think that, uh, yes, everybody is entitled to his or her sensitivity. Uh, but I, I, what is important is to understand the intent with which uh, something has been said. And Mr. Digvijay Singh, from there on, has you know, clarified his statements. And I think matters should be allowed to rest there. Insofar as uh, you know, the purported CD is concerned, well, I think the media is unnecessary making a barua out of it. Question is that there is a CD which has been put in the public domain, an FIR has been registered, the uh, investigative process allow it to play itself out. If it is uh, fake, it will be established to be fake. If it is not fake, it will be established to be real. So therefore, I do not think there is any need to really make so much of a halubaloo about it, insofar as the larger issue is concerned. You see, let's understand today that 75% of India's GDP is really in the private space. So therefore, while you may require a Lokpal, and I think it's a welcome step, but you simultaneously require a judicial accountability and standards bill. You require governance reform, starting with the repeal of Article 311, which guarantees uh, the uh, jobs of civil servants. And you require very strong antitrust legislation to break up pernicious which, corporates who are influencing, who are influencing exactly political processes. And finally, and finally, you require legislation to put an end to paid news, uh, treaties, and you know, the kind of uh, things that you've been seeing happening, you know, even with regard to the media. So therefore, you require a comprehensive set of reforms. And therefore, to get narrowly focused on just one is aspect of it, I think possibly may not be the cure. Uh, ultimately, you may have a malaise, which, which is which worse is exactly than the cure. Which is NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free ndtv.com slash apps.